Hey guys, Chip here, and today I want to talk to you about a new update to the Slice It add-on. And this is a pretty serious update. In fact, if you already have Slice It, you'll get this update for free. And if you don't, it'll cost a little more than it would had you purchased it before. But I suggest still get it because we have some future updates that are going to be pretty impressive as well. So let's get started. So I think the best way to show these new features is to demonstrate them using a model. And I'm choosing to use this Jason hockey mask as a model because it's getting close to Halloween. And I thought that would be a cool use of Slice. It showed you how this is built. And let's talk about the new feature. The new feature is multi-axis slicing. And so what does that mean? That means we can choose the X, Y, Y, Z, X, Z, or even the X, Y, Z, all three axes. And we can slice an object and it'll get roughly square topology on the object as we slice it. And that's really difficult to do if you're just doing one axis at a time, as many of you may have tried that in the past. The way that typically goes is you slice one direction, a number, and then you slice the other direction, undo, adjust the number, slice, undo, adjust the number, etc. Now all you need to do is just set one number and it'll slice it into squares. It'll use the longest side to do that. We'll talk about that later, but let's talk about this mask first. So what I did is I went on to the internet and I found a SVG file. So let's go ahead and load that into Blender. And as it comes in as a curve, so let's go ahead and let's look at that from the top view in local mode. And that's exactly what it looks like. First thing I'm going to do is let's go into an orthographic view. And I want to store origin to the center of the object. And we'll do that under object set origin to geometry right here. And when we do that, we want to make sure that we don't choose median center. We want to use bound center because bound center is always going to be a little bit more accurate. Just FYI. So if you're ever wondering why your origin isn't off, it's because you're not using bound center. So now that this is done, we will go under object and say clear location. And that's going to move it right to the center of our world, which is going to be important when we start adding modifiers. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is let's tab into this and we'll see that we have all these curves. So I want to convert this. So I'm going to go to object and over here, we're going to say, convert this curve to mesh. Now when we tab into it, we see that we have all this. I want to clean this up, mesh, clean up. And I want to do a limited dissolve. So we've just got a few of these faces, a lot fewer than we have before. Okay. So now we'll tab out of it. And now I want to scale this up and let's say we want the dimensions to be one meter in the X dimension. So I'll hit one here and it stretches this out a lot, but I want to keep this proportional. So I want to have one meter. What does the Y need to be? Here's our factor right here. So I'm going to hover over here, control C, then go into the Y and say control V. And then now that's done. We're going to go object, apply scale. And now our scale is at one, one, one. Okay. And then let's go ahead and we're just going to quickly add a modifier. And let's use a solidify modifier. Just give a little thickness to the face, right? So here we have our object. Now I'm going to turn on wireframe, which is our wireframe mode right there. And now I'll go over here and let's just make sure we'll use a random color on this for now, just so that we can see it better. And remember we're in object mode and I'm going to go into our tool menu and here we have slice it. And this is the new interface. And here's our single axis, which if, as you may recall, we had X, Y, and Z. And we could choose to slice on any one of these, but now we want to use multi-axis. And because we're looking down for the top, we want the X and Y and let's give it a hundred slices. Let's just do a hundred and we'll hit the slice it button. And now you see that we have a hundred slices all the way through. And so that's a pretty nifty tool, I'd say. And that's the basic function of the new slice it. So now what we want to do is now that we have this, we're going to want to bend this. And the way we bend it is we're going to add a modifier called simple to form. And we're going to go from Z axis and make this 90 and we're going to bend. And then I'm going to shift a, and I'm going to add an empty and let's just use a sphere empty. Okay. Just like this. And I'm going to go into the rotate mode for this sphere and let's rotate it about the X axis first. So I'm going to rotate this about the, oops, before I do that, I forgot I need to go in here and assign this empty as the origin target. Right. And now I can go back in here and now I can rotate this. And as I rotate, you're starting to see something happen, right? So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make this 90 also, and we can see what's going on there. And let's go back into our object and let's make this minus 90. And that's that bend, right? So we want one more bend in here. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to say shift a add another empty. This time I'm going to add a cube and I'm going to click on here and I'm going to duplicate this. And instead of the sphere, I'm going to add the cube. And that's right over here. So now I've added 
that is an empty. And with the cube set, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to start at 90 at the very top. And you can see that didn't do any good. So let's go down and zero and let's just move it this way. And as I move it this way, you can see that's not doing any good. Undo. And I'll lastly move it in this way, this direction. And so you use the Z direction and that's not really doing anything. So I'll undo. So this is a trial and error process. At least that's the best I've been able to figure out. Let's click back over here. And instead of Z, we're going to go to Y and we're going to do the same thing. Grab our cube and we're still at zero and we can do it this way. 90, nothing, undo, 90, nothing, undo, and 90, nothing, undo. Okay. So Y doesn't work. So let's go to X. And we'll grab our cube again, 90, and there it is. And that was what we were looking for. So now I may want to say instead of minus 90, let's do minus 45. Maybe make it a little bit more like that. And so now you can start to see that's really a pretty good example of how we can use Slice It to deform an object. So anyway, run over to Blender Market, grab yourself a copy of it. I said it went up another couple bucks, but still under $10. So it's not an expensive add-on. And I think you may find there's a lot of really cool things you can do with it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you online.